Hello, 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 hello. Solution to the spiraling electron problem. B field, uniform in this direction. I release into that B field an electron. The velocity of that electron makes an angle of 45 degrees with the magnetic field. The electron is going to spiral around. If I look at it from this direction, you will see a perfect circle. But if you look at it in this direction, you will also see the motion of the electron in this direction. That's why it's spiraling. You need the mass of the electron, you can look that up. One electron volt is so many joules, you may have to look that up. And the charge of the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. Kinetic energy is 26 electron volts. That allows you to calculate this V. No relativistic correction is needed because it turns out that the speed of that electron is one hundredth of the speed of light. So the Lorentz contraction factor gamma would be 1.00000, I can't even tell you how many zeros. So this then is the speed, is this V. Now let us concentrate on the radius R. So I'm looking at now in this direction. So the B field is now pointing into the paper and the electron is going to move around like this. This is the famous equation. It's the, the Lorentz force. And the Lorentz force is the charge, in this case the charge of the electron, times the cross product between V and B. However, the only velocity that makes it going around is the velocity which is perpendicular to B. The velocity component parallel to B will not make it go around. So that's why to remind you that, I put here a perpendicular sign. And V perpendicular, of course, is the square root of 2 times smaller than this V, because the angle is 45 degrees. So this Lorentz force is going to make it go around, because that Lorentz force is now the centripetal force, which is mv squared over r. V perpendicular cross B, if you do that with your right hand, is in this direction. So this force is in this direction, this force. But the Q is negative, so the force is in this direction. And so that holds it in orbit. And so you combine these two, and you will find then that the radius of this circle Again, this is feet perpendicular, very small, 0.053 millimeters. How long does it take for this object, for this electron, to go around? Well, that is of course 2 pi r divided by that v perpendicular. So that's easy to calculate because you know r and you know v perpendicular. So that is 1.56 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds. It's less than a nanosecond. And so now you can immediately find P, because P, of course, is the velocity parallel to the B field times that period T that it goes around. And this velocity parallel to the B field happens to be the same magnitude as this one, because the angle is 45 degrees. So if this V parallel is also this number, and out pops now that P is also very small, it's only 0.33 millimeters. Well, the reason, of course, why this radius is so small is that the kinetic energy of the electron 
is only 26 electron volts. So, I think this was an easy problem. Yes, most of you must have seen this in high school. I have seen it in high school. Um, yeah, all of you must have covered what we call the Lorentz force, which makes charged particles go around. And that, of course, is essential, absolutely crucial in all, in all synchrotrons, in all, <laughs> what you want to call it, accelerators, in the LHC. That's essential. That is the one that makes it go around. Okay? Have a nice day. Take care. And surely, surely, we will be friends.